So this video is going to be about how we describe a population. So one way we do that is through demography. So demography is going to be the study of changes over time in the vital statistics of populations, especially the birth rates and the death rates. And so one way we can display and summarize that information is through the use of a life table. And so a life table summarizes the survival and the reproductive rates of individuals and specific age groups within a population. So over here, we can see an example of a life table. And so it's broken up by age group. And then for each group, we can see the number of individuals alive at the start of the year. And then we can see the death rate. And so that will be giving us our survival rate. And then we also have our reproductive rate um, listed over here. And so the reproductive rate is listed as the average number of female offspring per female. And the reason you see it written like this a lot of the time is because uh, females are the only ones that are capable of generating offspring. And so they're really the ones that we're concerned with when we're looking at the reproductive rate of a population, because ultimately that's going to depend on the number of females in that population and how many female offspring each female is having. So another thing we look at when we're looking at populations are survivorship curves. And so a survivorship curve is a plot of the number of members of a cohort that are still alive at each age. And so there are three types of survivorship curves, type 1, type 2, and type 3. So in the type 1 survivorship curve, we can see that for the majority of the maximum lifespan of type 1 um, organisms, the uh, majority of the individuals are going to survive. And then once you near the maximum lifespan is when you really start to see uh, in individuals dying off at a more rapid rate. And so for then type 2 organisms, you kind of have a constant rate of death. And so it doesn't really matter at what point in the maximum lifespan um, an individual organism is. They're still pretty much equally as likely to die or to survive as they are at any other point in their lifespan. And so lastly, we have type 3 organisms. So type 3 organisms, um, the majority of those organisms don't make it very far into their lifespan. And so as you approach the maximum lifespan, we see a really sharp decrease in the number of individuals that are actually able to survive to that age. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.